They are that young at the most important position. This is true freshman quarterback Brett Smith, the Oregon player of the year last year, already with victories over Weber State, Texas State, and Bowling Green. But the ante is about to be up in a Macy Red all over the stadium. Nebraska is a program that's rich in tradition. They travel extremely well. 23. Right there is a good look at the true freshman All-America selection right now, leading the Big Ten in tackles per game with just under 11. Smith going to keep it himself. Gets out between the 18 and the 19. Levante, David there. And when you watch the defensive tackles from Nebraska work, and this two-gap technique that I'm definitely going to diagram for you a bit throughout the night, that allows the linebackers, that allows a guy like Levante David, like we saw a snap ago, get into the backfield because they eat up the blocks of the offensive line and allow their linebackers to roam. Third down and 12 now for the true freshman quarterback, Brett Smith. Rolling out to his right and just firing it, avoiding Lee Muhammad, still the tailback to the left of Brett Smith. Smith to the air. Finding the freshman at Josh. As Anthony pointed out, when you get rid of it, this is not going to get home. First and 10. Brett Smith in trouble. Will Compton lets him go. But Smith had to go more of a dime package. Second 13 from the shotgun. Smith rolling out. This is Chris McNeil. Lost his footing. Nice job. Smith pumping to his left, running out of time. And there is Damian Stafford from his safety position. I've enjoyed listening to you. Enjoy your stay here. Second down 10 from the 39. Brett Smith with time and fires a strike. And this is all on Chris McNeil right here. Good job of going vertical with his stem. Great ball location by Brett Smith. You know what really jumps out? Brett Smith doesn't really play like a true freshman. Moves around in the pocket, has thrown the football away when no one's available, has made some very... Huskers rush four. Smith in trouble. Buying time. Finding Ogbonna. Was he in bounds? No, he was not. He out of jail. That's what he does here. You have to love the freshman quarterback. Just watch him compete. Doesn't give up on the play. Keeps his head downfield. Just a little bit out of bounds, but for a true freshman, a guy that was in high school in Phoenix last year, you have to be impressed by his moxie. It doesn't seem like the moment is bigger than him. Out of five, if you're Carl Polini, do you come after the quarterback or just rush four and see if he can make a good read? I think you bring pressure. You try and make this young quarterback uncomfortable. There you go. Huskers bringing that pressure. Smith finding a way out of it by in time. And God is Levante David, a player who Carl Polini said is the best linebacker he's ever coached. To avoid the Nebraska defender, didn't have enough moxie and composure to find Ghali Muhammad. I really like this true freshman. 26 comes on second and 21. A little quick flip out to Haran. Greg Brandon, offensive coordinator, telling us on Friday in this formation, Brett, find a quick completion. Don't be greedy. There's that quick completion to Chris McNeil. It means a whole lot to the top 10 landscape, also the top five landscape. There is Brett Smith, true freshman quarterback. Freshman quarterback has competed. If you're watching, he's not afraid. He's running around. He's trying to make plays. He's been the inspiration for this Wyoming offense. I know it hasn't produced points yet, but if you're a veteran on offense, you have to be thoroughly impressed with the way that he's finding a way to create positive plays offensively for the I think we see exactly why his head coach Dave Christensen looked at us and told us on Friday his teammates will fight for him. This about 30 minutes after offensive coordinator Greg Brandon said he already has the respect of all of his teammates. And I think we see exactly why with the way he buys time, puts his head down. He's not afraid. And it's not normal for a freshman quarterback. I played as a true freshman, and I wasn't nearly as composed as Brett Smith. Empty backfield once again on second down 10. Smith with time. To find to make the transition to corner. It's a difficult man to get some extra fluids back in him. Third down and three. Once again, the empty backfield. Once again, Smith gets rid of it quickly. That's Mazi Agbada. Over 50 would always, <laughs> always be good. First down and 10. Brett Smith now 
at 50%, 6 out of 12. Mazi Agbana has the catch and room to run. Mazi Agbana, touchdown Cowboys. True freshman quarterback, Brett Smith, sits in the pocket. Levante David, the best linebacker at Nebraska, is breathing down his throat, makes an accurate on-time throw in by Albana, but that doesn't happen if Smith doesn't hit him in stride. And just standing in the pocket, understanding that you're going to get hit, that there is somebody coming. That's pretty well contained in this one, but what about true freshman Brett Smith? Solid so far. What are you seeing out of him? I think he did a great job of protecting the football against a good pass rush. And a great example is where he steps up and throws versus a, a free rusher coming in his face, gets rid of the ball quickly, sees the slant route, one, two, three, bang, the ball's out turns into a big play and a touchdown. He hasn't made the negative plays. He's done a nice job with his feet and showed some poise. Go up the stadium steps. Empty backfield on second and ten. Brett Smith to the left. Late 80s. Wyoming offense was really rolling there. Recently a head coach at Bowling Green now coming back to work this spread offense with Dave Christensen in his first year. Brett Smith setting up and has an open receiver. And Mazi Albana could not come down with it. Little bit underthrown, but very catchable ball. And, and Paul, that's what I meant when I said, I always believe when you're an offensive football team, you do things to set up other things. They've had some success running the football. They play action pass. You get Mazi Albana behind the safeties who are trying to help and support. Now, Mazi has the finish. Great throw. The interesting thing I took from our talk with Chris McNeil was the fact that he realized, and he said all the receivers know, they've got a true freshman coach in the game when they, they need to pick him up. Third down and nine, trying to set up the screen. Brett Smith was rushed. The frustrating thing for Dave Christensen has to be that they've self-destructed in some aspects. Mazi Akbana drops the... They didn't allow him. They collapsed the pocket in a way where it didn't give him the running lane. Alvester Alexander. This is the reverse, and the Cowboys have a first down. Robert Haran. Wow. And watch the quarterback by freshman quarterback. Watch the block by freshman quarterback. Brent Smith, you have to love this kid. This kid is really competing tonight. Wyoming's 10th turnover it's created in the last three games. Brett Smith with time. And that's going to be pass center. And this is a great job. All young quarterbacks that are watching this. Brett Smith gives his wide receiver an opportunity to catch the football. Doesn't overthrow it. Doesn't throw it out of bounds. More than likely, it's going to be a completion. Or if the defense Daniel, he expects a lot out of this offense based off of what he did at Missouri. Second down and six. Brett Smith with time, doesn't like what he has, rolling to his left. Levante David with an athletic play, almost with the pick. And that's an incomplete pass, and it'll be third and six. I still like the fact that the young quarterback is competing. No one's available. He's running to his left. He's still trying to make plays. Actually, an unbelievably accurate ball for a right-handed quarterback throwing the football. On third and six, Smith to Rufran, first down Wyoming. Out to the 43 yards. Coordinator Greg Brandon saying, we have to run the ball, although this is a pass, and that's Brett Smith with plenty of time. And that's just a drop pass. Nebraska's not been able to get a lot of pass, pr pass, pass pressure with their front four. Third and six, touch pass. Galdi Muhammad, the tailback, going first to ten. Smith, low snap, fields it. Dominic Roof ran so far. Just his composure. Nothing rattles him. He's looked down the gun barrel, made throws, has been accurate. A lot of potential. Sky's the limit for this young player. Empty backfield on second and eight. Let's keep your emotions in check. And he exhibits all of those qualities. Inside of 10 minutes, now first and 10. That's another strike. Robert Haran. First down reception, gain of 16, and this Wyoming offense on the move. Lost a two-year starter to transfer over the offseason. Quarterback was supposed to be a position of question. But I, I believe 74 points in the first three games. Didn't hit that mark until mid-October last year. But Smith with time again. And Dominic Farr, six out of nine for 57 yards. 
Working the fade. Doxson with a heck of a catch. Was he in bounds? No, he was not. Continue in the Mountain West Conference. There's improvement all across the board. We're seeing it tonight against the nation's ninth ranked team. We saw it leading up to this game. The offense, scoring offense up 17 points per game this year. Total offense up over 200 yards per game. Of course, that's only through three games. But reason to believe in this young Cowboy team. Right now, it's fourth and five, empty backfield for Brett Smith. Huskers bring five. Levante David almost got there, but that's Robert Haran. Number six with six for the Cowboys. Haran is going to be matched up with the safety, Austin Cassidy. Great route, mismatch, advantage Wyoming. Inside, Brett Smith, the anticipation and the accuracy, and Nebraska's lead got to 17. negative loss plays. Their true freshman quarterback is out of harm's way. They've run some time off the clock and now they're in position to put it away. 